Now on Today in AZ, Thanksgiving is just two days away and we are ready to chow down. But we know Thanksgiving 2020 is looking a little different this year, so we're breaking our tradition of introducing some new dishes by going back to some old ones, right? This morning, we're going inside Rachel's kitchen for her mother's spicy oyster stuffing. Hi there, I'm Rachel McNeil, and this is my family. My husband, Wayne. Lionel Hudson. I actually don't really cook, so I'm taking one of my mom's recipes, spicy oyster stuffing, and we're bringing it here to the valley. First thing we're doing is we're melting the butter. I like to cut up the butter because it melts more evenly. So we did the butter, now we're gonna add in the stuffing. So right now we are stirring the butter into the bread, stuffing, sauteing it without crushing it, my mom says. We're gonna add now a box of the chicken broth. And now we're just gonna continue to stir slowly, gradually, turning lightly until everything is soaked, all the little bread cubes. Season with salt and pepper. Oh yeah. Add some sage leaf and just a little bit of thyme. Hudson, I think it's time for the tiny pieces of our habanero. Now cut some small slivers. Don't get, small don't slivers. let the seeds get in because yeah. that will really kill you. A little bit in here, tiny pieces. All right, so we add the oysters in. The best part, okay. the worst Easy. part. Look then you this. turn it, turn it, turn it. How does that look to you? I think it looks really good. So now you put it in a baking dish. So my mom says the secret is you add in just a little bit more chicken broth because you really want it to be moist. You do not want your stuffing to be dry. Stick it in the oven for about 20 minutes. It's pretty quick. Ready? Right, here we go. Okay. Woo! Here we go. Here we go. It's super hot. Let's see how it looks. Ooh, it is really good. It's good. Not bad, if I don't say so myself. It's very moist. From my family to yours, happy, happy holidays. holidays! Oh my gosh, the best is how my husband sounds so surprised. He's like, it's good. <laughs> it's like so unexpected. <laughs> well, when you said, I don't really cook, and he's like, Oh my gosh, so Ryan, obviously this was shot last right. Thanksgiving. So much has changed, as I was telling you, now I know how to cook. Like right. out of necessity because of the pandemic and the restaurants are, you know, not really always an option. Mm -hmm. I have since learned how to cook. I'm making risotto, which is kind of right next level. Ooh. Yeah, no, that's not like a first no. cooking experience kind of thing. Yeah. You're on to risotto already. It's been less than a learned year. learned how to properly cook since then. Yeah, oh. it's kind of a big thing for me. And do you have a new set of matching jammies for the whole family? So I just ordered them, Crystal. <gasps> Yeah, yeah, they're being shipped now to my mom's house. What so, is yeah. the theme? The new jammies are coming. What is it? I know I ordered on the early Black Friday. I feel like there's snowflakes this year. Oh! Yeah, maybe snowflakes. Mm -hmm. Well, very fitting. We